At what point did the Mets just say, does Sandy Olsen need to announce to, to Mets fans that enough is enough? Like We're waving over. the white flag to see, get Rosario up here? See, that's the thing. So if he's you, not the savior? It doesn't sound like he's doing that. Well, that's the From question. what he's saying, it doesn't sound like he's doing that. Well, at some point, at that kid needs to be up here. Because if he is going to struggle, I would rather him struggle now when you're 12 and a half games out of a wild card spot than next year when everyone's back and healthy and the expectation is we're going to be competitive. That's what I want to I mean, I absolutely agree with what you're saying. Sandy Alderson needs to come out and manage the expectations, but what he's saying now is, you know, we're not chasing eight teams. We're only chasing two teams, even though we're 12 games back from the wild card. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't sound like somebody that's waving the white flag. But that's absolutely what they should be doing. They should be but spending you this can't thing forward. Say that publicly in June. You still got how many tickets to sell for home games? You can't possibly in June say, you know what? We're not catching the Nationals. Forget it. We're done. We're I'm not bring saying up say AAA. it. But what's better to sell you tickets? You can say it with your well, moves. You can, well, Mets fans want to see Rosario. That's true. Now, and I also think this is the you do it at that point because I know we were arguing about this the other day. Bring up Rosario. Too much pressure on him to be the savior. But if you're kind of if you show by some of the moves you make that you're playing more of the younger players and you're putting less emphasis on the veterans, maybe you move – Bruce has got value right now, no question. Addison Reed, you've talked about, has value. Once you make moves like that, you don't have to say it. Everybody knows. Yeah, okay. but you're not going to make moves like that till the deadline. Yeah, well, it's a month. Well, it's a month, yeah. But this is a month of experience this kid could be getting right now. Right. But I'm, my, what you I'm saying is – You hit runs off Clayton Kershaw and you still lost. If you bring him up – It's a wrap. If you bring him up and you're tri- – <laughs> Right. It is. It's a wrap. That's pretty amazing. I mean, he's never going to have four home runs. You hit four home runs, you get six runs. And you lose because, <laughs> well, obviously, Zach Wheeler couldn't get out of second inning. But what I was saying was is that you bring him up, and then over the course of the next couple of weeks while he's playing, you start making those moves. Then people realize, okay, he's not the savior. He's a young player who's getting experience. But if you're still trying to win with Rosario coming up, there might be too much pressure on every at-bat. Does he come through? You know, Is he a savior? That kind of stuff. 